Actual test one. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately forty-five minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in the test book. Part one. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. He is looking at the monitor. B. He is cleaning his desk. C. He is writing in a notebook. D. He is decorating the office. Statement C. He is writing in a notebook. Is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one, look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. He is riding his bicycle. B. He is putting on a helmet. C. He is fixing his bicycle. D. He is stopped in traffic. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. The women are talking to each other. B. The women are checking the map. C. The women are shopping in the supermarket. D. One of the women is mopping the floor. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. He is calling from a public phone. B. He is looking at a telephone directory. C. He is standing in the hallway. D. The telephone is being repaired. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. The bags are being stacked on the shelves. B. A customer is paying for a purchase. C. Many bags are displayed for sale. D. The store is closed for business. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. The man is feeding a horse. B. The man is building a fence. C. The man is riding a horse. D. The man is taking off his cowboy hat. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. Most of the shelves are empty. B. The shelves are filled with books. C. Some books have been piled on the floor. D. A librarian is putting away books. Go on to the next page. Number seven. Look at the picture marked number seven in your test book. A. The street is closed to traffic. B. Some people are getting on a bus. C. People are waiting to cross the street. D. Lines are being painted on the road. Number eight. Look at the picture marked number eight in your test book. A. The buildings are being demolished. B. There are trees surrounding the buildings. C. A boat is passing under a bridge. D. There are many buildings near the lake. Number nine. Look at the picture marked number nine in your test book. A. 
The woman is browsing in a bookstore. B. The woman is booking a table. C. The woman is opening her backpack. D. The woman is reading at her desk. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your test book. A. A waiter is taking orders from the customers. B. The people are waiting to enter the cafe. C. Meals are being served to the patrons outside. D. The people are sitting outdoors at a cafe. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. For example, you will hear, Where did you buy your tie? You will also hear A. Next time we'll do better. B. At the downtown shopping center. C. We'll move to a new building soon. The best response to the question, Where did you buy your tie? is choice B. At the downtown shopping center. So B is the correct answer. You should mark answer B on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number 11. Number 11. When did you last visit our laboratory? A. It lasts about a week. B. No, I didn't. C. Yesterday with my boss. Number 12. Does anyone here know how to use this machine? A. That sounds like a good choice. B. I don't know how to, thank you. C. Yes, David does. Number 13. Where is the closest parking lot? A. Right across the street. B. To park my car. C. At 2 o'clock. Number 14. How late are you open on Saturday? A. Yes, we are open today. B. Our business hours are from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. on weekends. C. We're considering opening a shop. Number 15. Don't you think we need more time to finish the preparation? A. Because we already had it. B. No, it starts at 7 tonight. C. Yes, we really do. Number 16. Where can I pick up the application? A. In room 403. B. Every Monday morning. C. About 3 o'clock. Number 17. When does the message say we need to respond? A. It's for a retirement party. B. By the end of this week. C. Yes, I already sent him a bill. Number 18. How many people applied for the scholarships? A. I'll apply for the position. B. At least 20. C. To submit the application. Number 19. Would you like me to get you another cup of tea? A. No, thanks. One is enough. B. At the end of the hall, I think. C. I'm new around here, too. Number 20. Why are the renovations being delayed? A. Yes, but it should be changed. B. We must get a permit first. C. It was delayed over two hours. Number 21. You're going to the gym again, aren't you? A. Yes, since last Tuesday. 
B. We met a long time ago. C. The fitness room closes at 9. Number 22. Do you have some time to review this or does Mr. Andrews need you? A. A quarter after 9. B. Yes, I need one. C. Yes, I can check it now. Number 23. I'd appreciate it if you would turn the radio down. A. Turn on the light. B. It's down this hall. C. Oh, sorry. I'll turn it down. Number 24. What time is the workshop supposed to start? A. She started working here last month. B. It begins in half an hour. C. He is not in the office on Friday. Number 25. Do we have enough machines or should I order some more? A. I can't operate the machine. B. We still have plenty. C. To save some money. Number 26. For which hotel should I make the reservation? A. We are all booked for tonight. B. The one by the conference center. C. From Monday to Friday. Number 27. Why didn't you bring the document to the meeting? A. I forgot to pick it up. B. No, he won't. C. Five pages. Number 28. I'm in the mood for a movie tonight. A. Yes, I have read one. B. That sounds like a good idea. C. I enjoyed it too. Number 29. How long does the delivery usually take? A. About four days. B. Usually five dollars per hour. C. To the delivery department. Number 30. They'll refund our money if it's delayed, right? A. You can pay by cash. B. Yes, that's the company policy. C. I don't have enough money. Number 31. I thought you were out visiting clients this morning. A. Yes, he often visits the head office. B. No, my meeting was called off. C. I left them on my desk. Number 32. Are you ready to order or do you need more time? A. Nearly an hour ago. B. We ordered new merchandise last week. C. I'll need a few more minutes. Number 33. Can't Mr. Gomez wait until tomorrow to have the meeting? A. Yes, I have to go now. B. I'll purchase one tomorrow. C. No, he wants to have it right now. Number 34. Why did Mr. Wilson hire a bilingual person? A. Most of the clients speak Japanese. B. He came back yesterday. C. Yes, we need a new secretary. Number 35. The play starts at 7 o'clock. A. He started August 1st. B. Then we better hurry. C. They didn't like it. Number 36. Mr. Williams gave a great opening speech at the conference, didn't he? A. No, I can't go there. B. I saw the schedule yesterday. C. Yes, he did a good job. Number 37. Are you free for coffee later? A. Yes, it's free. B. Five copies, please. C. I'll be free at about three. Number 
This room is really hot. A. The room is on the 13th floor. B. You're meeting with the real estate agent. C. Why don't you open the window? Number 39. Ms. Patel, could you tell us how you'd promote the campaign? A. Yes, here's a copy of my proposal. B. Her promotion was approved. C. It's right over there. Number 40. Please call me when you have your paycheck. A. Sure. What's your extension again? B. I'm glad to meet you. C. No, I didn't call him. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Julie, would you please push back my one o'clock appointment this afternoon? I have an emergency meeting with the President. Of course, Mr. Lorry. When would you like to reschedule? Well, the President informed me that some clients will be arriving at 2, so let's say 4 o'clock. I should be back in my office by then. Right. I'll see if he can be here at 4. Number 41. What would the man like Julie to do? Number 42. What will the man do this afternoon? Number 43. What time will the man start his appointments this afternoon? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Good afternoon, TELUS Mobility. What can I do for you? Hello. I was wondering if you can help me with my cell phone bill. I haven't used my cell phone any more than usual. However, the total this month seems to be much more than in the past. It could be that the monthly service charge has increased. But let me look over your invoice. What's your telephone number? It's 555-9328. My last name is Hawk. Number 44. What kind of company does the man work for? Number 45. How does the man explain the change in the woman's bill? Number 46. What information does the man ask the woman for? Go on to the next page. Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Kevin, when is everyone meeting to commemorate Jim's retirement? The invitation said 7 o'clock. Do you know where the banquet hall is? Yes, it's in the West Burton Harbourfront Hotel, next to the supermarket. But I need to stop by the bakery first, so I probably won't arrive until 7.30. OK, I see. But don't be too late because I will be waiting for you. Number 47. What is the celebration for? Number 48. When will the celebration start? Number 49. Where will the woman go before the party? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. William, 
I just found out that you won an award for a piece of your artwork. Congratulations! Thank you. I am so thrilled that the Kennedy Association has recognized my work. You should feel honored. Are you painting any new pieces now? Well, I started work on a new oil painting this week, and I hope to join a sculpture workshop in the fall. Number 50. Why is William happy? Number 51. What does William hope to do? Number 52. What is William working on these days? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. I'm here with a delivery, some office supplies, a filing cabinet, and a bookshelf, I believe. I'm going to have to get someone to sign for them. Is there a manager available? She's out of the office this afternoon. I'm her assistant. I can sign for them. Thank you, that's great. Where should I leave the supplies? The filing cabinet can go in the conference room, and the bookshelf and boxes of supplies can be left right here. Number 53. Where is the conversation most likely taking place? Number 54. What does the assistant offer to do? Number 55. What will be delivered to the conference room? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, how much is the entrance fee? It's $6 for adults and $4 for seniors and children under 12. That's a lot more than I expected. We only wanted to go to the gift shop. They just called about some posters that I'd ordered. It'll only be about 20 minutes. Well, I can offer you a half price coupon. Would you like to use it? Number 56. Who most likely is the man? Number 57. Where is the woman going? Number 58. How does the man suggest lowering the admission price? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Is this monitor available in black or silver? Currently, we only have the white one in stock, but if you'd like, we can order either the black or the silver. You can also get a 21 inch model for an additional $200. I'd rather order the 17 inch in black. I heard the silver paint tends to look old quickly. Great. Then let's go to the customer service counter to fill out the forms. You should have your new monitor within 10 business days. Number 59. What color monitors are available now? Number 60. How much does it cost to increase the size of the monitor? Number 61. When can the man expect to receive his monitor? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation Richard, have you gotten your new parking pass? I picked mine up on Tuesday. Tuesday? No, I haven't even gotten a call for mine. I have to get the parking attendant to lift the gate for me every day. Maybe you should contact someone in HR about getting you a card. Good idea. I'll call them right after the meeting. Number 62. What problem is the man faced with?
Number 63. When did the woman receive her parking permit? Number 64. What does the woman suggest the man do? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. What would you like to do with your hair today? Would you like some highlights or something dramatic done to it? I'd like something simple, like the receptionist style. Can you add some highlights to make my hair look similar to hers? Of course. I actually just completed a What's Hot seminar last week in New York, and that style was one that we focused on. Oh, did you? You make me feel more comfortable and excited about the changes to my hair. Number 65. Where most likely does this conversation take place? Number 66. What would the woman like to do? Number 67. Why did the man visit New York? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. Hi, June. Have you had any trouble with the phone systems this afternoon? I can't seem to check my voicemail. The system cleared our ID numbers last night. You'll have to visit the technical support staff to reset your password. Okay. The office is up on the eighth floor by the mailroom, right? It is on the eighth floor, but you'll have to turn left at the reception desk and go down to the end of the hall. It's directly beside the Human Resource Department. Number 68. What is the man's problem? Number 69. Where will the man probably go next? Number 70. Where is the technical support staff office located? Go on to the next page. Part 4 Directions You will hear some short talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each short talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, this is Katie Burke calling from Kochco Internet Services. Mr. Clifford, the reason I'm calling is we haven't received your payment for the installation of the modem and cable. We need your payment in order to activate your service. Please contact us at 1 800 222 4503 between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Thank you. We look forward to hearing from you at your earliest convenience. Number 71. What is the reason for the call? Number 72. What is Mr. Clifford asked to do? Number 73. When does Katie expect to hear from Mr. Clifford? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement. I am pleased to announce the grand opening of Atlas Steels Corporation here in Hamilton. As Director of Operations, I can only try to express how proud I am. We will open the plant doors in early July and will look at hiring an additional 100 staff members. And then, closer to the end of the year, we will most likely bring on another 75 people.
We've expanded quite a bit since our first production facility in Milton to our present day plants in Portland, Rochester, St. Louis, and now here in Hamilton. We are looking forward to joining the community. Number 74. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 75. How many staff will the company employ when it opens? Number 76. Where was the first facility? Question 77 through 79 refer to the following talk. Hello, my name is Claudia, and I am happy to be your host and guide this afternoon. It's currently 12 30, and we will begin our tour of the facilities at 1 o'clock. But before we get started, I do have a few announcements to make. Unfortunately, we do not allow any visitors to photograph the equipment or video the baking process. The first part of the tour will finish at 2 p.m. However, you will have a couple of unguided hours to visit our labs and tasting rooms before you leave the premises. Feel free to ask any questions that you may have at any time throughout the tour. I do hope that you enjoy your visit. Number 77. Where most likely are the visitors? Number 78. What will happen at 2 o'clock? Number 79. How long will the visitors be on their own? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following recorded message. Thank you for calling the University of Washington's library. To access a listing of staff and faculty extensions, please press 1 at any time. Our library facilities are open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., Monday through Friday. If you wish to access our political archives, an appointment can be made with Edward Phillips at extension 15. If you would like our reception staff to return your call, please leave a message after the tone. Thank you. Number 80. What kind of business is the message for? Number 81. What time does the facility close on Fridays? Number 82. How can a caller speak with Edward Phillips? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following advertisement. Do you like French food? If so, you will love Chateau Francois on the corner of John Street and Richardson Avenue. Stop by for dinner to enjoy traditional French cuisine, escargot, homemade bread, and fine wines. For dessert, why don't you try pastries with fresh fruit and rich dark chocolate? The thing that makes Chateau Francois truly unique is the restaurant's location. Our newly designed chef's deck overlooks our estate vineyards and the beautiful Pontemac River. Enjoy the view as you relax over a glass of wine. We look forward to seeing you for dinner. Number 83. What is being advertised? Number 84. What is provided for dessert? Number 85. What does the speaker say about Chateau Francois? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following announcement Good afternoon. I need to remind you of an upcoming event prior to the beginning of our meeting. Newport painters are arriving on Tuesday to paint the offices in the west wing of our building. The painter should be here for three days. 
If you have an office in the West Wing, be sure to contact Miss Peters in Human Resources to find out where you will be relocated to. Furthermore, remove all confidential files by the end of business on Monday. If you have any further questions, speak to Miss Peters. Number 86. What is the announcement about? Number 87. How can employees find out the location of their new offices? Number 88. What are staff asked to do on Monday before they leave? Go on to the next page. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following announcement. Good evening, Office Depot shoppers. This is your Office Depot sales manager, Kendra Williams, informing you of some tremendous discounts we have for you in the store today. In our stationery section, all computer paper is available at a 20% discount. Also, shoppers with an Office Depot preferred customer card will receive an additional 5% off of all purchases. Don't forget the electronics department, where computers, faxes, and printers are also on sale. And remember to pick up our new fall catalog as you leave the store. It's your way of learning more about all that Office Depot has to offer. Number 89. What is the purpose of this announcement? Number 90. What is Miss Williams' position? Number 91. What can customers receive at no cost as they leave? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following short talk. Starting next month, we'll be introducing the company's new database computer system. The new network will combine a few features that will help us to stay connected more efficiently, especially on group tasks. Please remember that all files from the old database will not be moved to the new one, so it's essential that all staff back up their files by the end of the month. If you fail to do so, important data could be lost. The full network will require two weeks to install. Number 92. When will the new system start? Number 93. What does the speaker say is the benefit to the change? Number 94. What does the speaker ask staff to do? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for coming to this year's conference on organizational behavior. My name is Francis Lee, and I'll be chairing the conference for the next three days. Each day we'll discuss a new area of organizational behavior. A few of the concepts we'll be covering include hiring practices, group dynamics, and project management. Each of you will be responsible. For responding daily to the lectures and posting your responses on our conference website, which also maintains a chat room for you to discuss ideas with your colleagues. Undoubtedly, during the conference, you will benefit both from the lectures themselves and by interacting with your colleagues. We wish you good luck over the next three days. Number 95. How long will the conference run? Number 96. What is the main subject of the conference? Number 97. What must conference participants do following the lectures?
Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Good afternoon. This meeting shouldn't take more than 30 minutes. I wanted to make everyone aware of our new computer security system. Previously, we had been able to use any computer within the building freely without having to log on. Recently, the Information Technology Department updated our computer network, requiring each of us to use a password to access any computer on the premises. This should improve security and allow us to record employee productivity. Number 98. What's the purpose of this meeting? Number 99. Where will this new policy be enforced? Number 100. What changes have been made to the computer system? This is the end of the listening test.